Hi there, grade students. This is the fourth lesson of the week. Language skills, participles. Please turn your literary companion with you on page 244, and we shall start as you're ready. The learning objectives are, first, understand the function of participles in sentences. Second is use possible participles to complete the sentences. But before we dive into our lesson, let's have a little review of the vocabulary words. Please pause this video as you try to answer with your copybook. Let us see if you have the same answers. Let us now move on to the lesson proper. A participle is a word formed from a verb and can function as a different part of speech, such as a noun or an adjective. The participle, you have to form it by adding ing to the verb. For a regular verbs such as talk and excavate, we form a participle by adding ed. For irregular verbs such as speak and drive, Past participles come in different forms. Let us have this example. As you noticed, the boldface words are in participial form, but they function not as a verb but an adjective in the sentence. Bubbling describing mud, burning describing beams, shrieking describing the sky, and agonized describing the people even howling describing the world. For example, number two, notice that the participial phrase, or the present participle excavating, is not functioning as a verb, but rather a noun. On the third example, trappings is a gerund because it is being used as a noun while shining and laughing are used as an adjective to describe the chariots and the crowds. Let us practice and apply. Turn your literary companion book on page 245. Practice and apply participles. Underline the participles that function as an adjective in the excerpt. Pause this video as you identify your answers. Let us see if you had the same answer as me. Flaming, in present form, describes the arrow. Colored, in past participle form, describe the tortoise. In exit B, flaring describes ships, and lighted describes skies. In C, falling describes rocks, and collapsing describes the infrastructure. And D, outstanding, describes body. 2. Add a present or past participle to add more detail to the following sentences. Pause this video as you answer. Here are some possible answers. Three, select an excerpt from one of the selections and rewrite it in the box, adding participles of your choice. Include at least one present participle that functions as an adjective and one past participle that functions as an adjective. Also, include a gerund in each sentence. Share your sentences with your classmate and pointing out the participles and gerunds you used. You can freely send your answer to your WhatsApp group. Here's a possible answer. In summary, a participle is a word formed from a verb. And a participle functions as a different part of speech such as a noun, even a subject or an object, or an adjective, a descriptive verb. 
I hope that you learned something today. If you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!